Hey, what's going on, Fragrance family? This is Tyler, Simply Fragrances. And today, bringing you my review over the new Club de Nuit Untold. So if you want to see what my thoughts on this fragrance are, be sure and keep it right here. Guys, welcome back. Like I said, my name is Tyler. This is my channel, Simply Fragrances. And if this is your first time, welcome. You're not part of the fragrance family. Go ahead, hit that red subscribe button. Really appreciate that. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the love and support. So, guys, like I said, really excited for this. This is the new Club de Nuit Untold. This is one of four, I believe. Um, but this is the one that really intrigued me. And I'll you know get into that here in a second. But this is the one that I've wanted to get. I've wanted this unknowingly that they were going to release this for a little bit. And like I said, I'll get into that but let's go ahead and get into the presentation so moving forward with the box presentation I'm gonna leave a little b-roll film for you guys up there but nonetheless guys this you know it's a decent presentation it's not gonna be anything that's you know crazy it's you know what we've come to know and appreciate from our Moffin Club in New Eat so you get this you know kind of a purple design around it almost looks like a wrap kind of but you got the embroidered raised up lettering club de nuit untold and you got the little gem up there up top kind of like it's on the bottle and then on the back just a little information you know about the house and then on the bottom more information you do get a shelf life which i always appreciate that you know it says 36 months depending on how you store your fragrances it can obviously go a lot longer but overall real decent presentation up top you do have the little armoff you know logo and then when you open it up the fragrance would set inside just like such and then you do get this card now i do have a little bit of a tangent i guess with this just being an artist like i'm a musician i'm in a band if someone were to you know take our song and then tweak it just a little bit and then say that they wrote it that would kind of you know, upset me not gonna lie i would have a problem with that and that's kind of what they've done here it's one thing to you know make a fragrance more affordable for the general public you know not everyone can afford you know creed prices i get that i can respect that but when you take pretty much their whole not not design with the box but when you take this little card thing and you try and make it something of yours <sighs> I think it's a little little cheesy. I think it's stealing in my opinion, but that's just me. But you do get this little card, arm off. It has, you know, uh, four fragrances on there. So, you know, some people like that. I'm not, not the biggest fan of it. I can appreciate it for the, you know, what it looks like. It looks great, but it's just, in my opinion, stealing. So that's my little tangent. Moving forward with that, um, go ahead and get into the bottle presentation. And again, I'm going to have, you know, a little B-roll footage for you there and guys i'm i'm kind of digging the bottom not gonna lie i i appreciate the color it's kind of like this transparent translucent bottle with like this almost looks like you know those cars whenever they're in the sunlight depending you know what side or how you're looking at the car the the paint color can change that's kind of what's going on here it's kind of red and green and blue almost like or like maybe a bad description but even like an oil spot in the sun how it you know has those different colors that's kind of what this is doing and i kind of dig it it's kind of got this overall red purplish magenta whatever you want to call it hue about it but then as you turn the bottle you get the blues and the purples and little greens and kind of orange and I'm, yeah, i dig it i kind of like it you get this gold cap on top it's kind of like a dice with like little jewels in there you know kind of it's, it's whatever i don't hate it and then you get the arm off classic you know little jewel on top the uh, letter is embroidered a little bit uh, uh, i guess i should say lifted same with the sides i really do enjoy that it's kind of a raised up lettering you know it's textured so you can feel it i really i kind of like that and then take the cap off it does kind of click into place and you can i guess hold it from the cap i never recommend doing that even with more expensive fragrances you could have put the cap on wrong the last time you used it you go to pick it up drop the bottle it breaks you're sad we're all sad we've wasted juice just don't do it but hey that's on you then go ahead and waste a little spray for you guys here see nice little distribution nothing crazy it's not gonna be like a super soaker it's not gonna be like a sean john where it's like a fire hose um but you know it's it's a good distribution so that is the overall bottle presentation now let's go ahead and get into the overall reason why you're here what does it smell like is this you know what i've been told it is is this a baccarat rouge 540 interpretation knockoff spoof 
In my opinion, yes, this is a very good representation of Baccarat Rouge 540. I do have the original. I don't have the extra. I'd like to get it at some point, but nothing that I'm, you know, you know, itching to get. But great fragrance. Just don't know if I need it. Anyways, with the EDP of Baccarat Rouge 540, this is the version that they're going for. Going into the notes, I'll leave the notes listed for here uh, for you up there. Um, you know. It's a pretty similar note breakdown, guys, to the Baccarat Rouge 540. You get the jasmine, you get the saffron, you get the ambergris, the fir resin, the, the cedar. Guys, it's it's Baccarat Rouge 540, and like I don't think they're trying to hide that. And I'm actually really excited about this. So, you know, going into this, why did I pick this one up? You know, it's funny. I've told several of my buddies, I was like, you know, with, you know, Siage and with Milestone, they did a really, really good job. If you haven't seen my videos up there, I'll leave a little card up here somewhere for you guys um, to go check those out. I love those guys. They are one to one in the dry down and they perform better than the new versions of Creed, Millicent Imperial and Silver Mountain Water. That's my opinion. Take it for what it is. With this one, it's just as good as the original in my opinion. It smells one to one in the dry down. The projection, the longevity, the sillage, everything is there guys. For the price that you pay versus what you're paying for Baccarat Rouge 540, in my opinion, I would go with this one. So going into the smell, obviously in the opening, there's there's a tiny bit of a difference. I will say that. It's not quite as sweet. It's not quite as sugar cane, cotton candy, you know, syrupy sweet that you do get from from the original Baccarat Rouge 540. Some people like that, some people don't. I'm kind of indifferent. I don't like it, but I don't not like it, if that makes sense. I, I can appreciate it really for what it is, but some people, it's too clawing, it's too just in their face, it's too much. This one, they've taken that and they've kind of toned it down. They've reeled it in a little bit to where it's not quite as, you know, super sweet. It still smells like Baccarat Rouge 540, but if there was ever gonna be like a more masculine version of Baccarat Rouge 540, this in my opinion, I think it would kind of be it. I'm not going to say that, you know, Baccarat Rouge 540 is a super masculine or feminine fr fragrance. It does tend to lean on the feminine side to most people. I kind of agree. This one, I think it would lean more towards the masculine side, but very unisex, guys. Right down the middle, guy or girl could wear it very easily, and no one's really going to make a fuss. At least, that's my opinion. So, but overall, after about that 10 minutes, though, it's a very linear fragrance, just like Baccarat Rouge 540. Not a lot of development, just very woody, spicy. Um, not spicy in the sense of like, you know, like oud or anything like that but just a you know a spicy sweet resinous type of fragrance that's how this one is guys there's not a lot of development i kind of knew that going into it so that's why when i got this i wore it last night and then i wore it as my scent of the day that's why i'm making the video it, there's not a lot of development it's not going to do much more off of my skin and i have the original so i kind of knew what i was getting into so but going off of you know the overall scent profile in the dry down it's a one-to-one -one in my opinion that's my experience with the fragrance and that's all that you know i can really say but it smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. So if you're looking for a Baccarat, Baccarat Rouge 540, you know, clone knockoff interpretation, this in my opinion would be something to go for. Going forward with the projection and longevity, guys, this is a powerhouse for the first, I'd say hour to hour and a half. I went to go pick up Austin. He's my business partner, um, you know, opened the door and he was like, whoa, dude, you are strong. Like, what is that? It doesn't smell bad, but it's strong. And I was like, oh, well, I'm testing a new fragrance out. I'm glad you can smell it. And you know, he's, he's kind of one of those guys that, you know, doesn't really care too much about it but if he smells it he'll tell me oh man, yeah you smell good but this one he was like whoa that is strong smells good but that's strong so maybe be a little easier on the trigger i did five sprays so if you're going to do something like that maybe wait a little bit before going out but that's just my opinion if you're one of those guys that over sprays hey spray away you do you boo boo but that's just me that's my my, my opinion so but in the longevity on this guys it's going to be every bit of an eight to ten hour fragrance that's my experience with the fragrance some people may get more some people may get less mileage may vary that's just kind of how it goes but overall projection you're going out over an arm's length reach for the first hour and a half after that it does kind of sit just a little bit more closer to the skin you're still pumping out a good three four inches you know off the skin nice little scent bubble nice little scent trail that you're going to leave behind you times and seasons to wear this um honestly any season that you would wear baccarat rouge 540 this is going to do the same thing i tend to go baccarat rouge more in the spring fall and winter in the summer it's a bit hot it's a bit you know humid where 
where I'm at in Southern Missouri, it just gets a little bit thick here. So I tend to go more spring, fall, and winter. Same with this one. Although if you're gonna be an AC controlled environment, if you're gonna be you know, going to the office, I think it's really an all year round fragrance. Now, see our times and occasions to wear this, literally same thing with baccarat rouge 540 it might throw you off because baccarat rouge 540 it's expensive it's you know luxury it's you know an mfk like man like the name behind it man this is something i'm gonna wear for special occasions this one being around that 50 dollar mark you'd be like oh this smells like it but should i wear it to a date should i wear it to a special occasion do it yeah it smells like baccarat rouge 540 no one's going to be able to tell any difference so you could get away with it you could wear it you could dress it up you could wear it on a date night for a business meeting for you know whatever really it's kind of a swiss army knife in my opinion wear it go get groceries wear it to work wear it to you know business meeting wear it to church whatever you want to do in my opinion anything you can rock baccarat rouge 544 you can rock this so overall guys that's my impression of this fragrance it's the best one it honestly is this is the best interpretation of baccarat rouge 540 that i've ever smelled sometimes when you get into those knockoffs and stuff they can almost have this like burnt rubbery smell i don't know why it goes that way but sometimes it's like burnt rubber with like sugar and it's just not good they this is very smooth it's not going to be you know clawing or you know sharp in the opening it's not super synthetic it's pretty well done actually i'm very very impressed with this now this is sold out as far as i know i've talked to several different people they've all confirmed they can't find it i did get this off of fragrancebuy.ca for around that 55 60 range after you know the canadian money transfer and all that after you know goes into you know us dollars it was around 55 60 bucks with shipping and handling so in my opinion guys would i can would i go for this over the baccarat rouge 540 kind of yeah i think so I, I think if you're okay with you know having something that smells just like it but not paying three you know 250 300 dollars for it i would go for it guys that's just my opinion that's you know that's where my money would go to my opinion this gets a pass guys good stuff All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Like I said, if this is your first time here. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Become part of the fragrance family. I really appreciate that. But uh, overall, guys, that's my thoughts with this fragrance. Be sure and comment down below. Do you have this? Do you have Baccarat Rouge 540? Do you like it? What's your thoughts on this? Are you excited to get this, guys? This is kind of making its rounds. This is a hype beast. It's sold out. So let me know. Is this something that even interests you? Obviously, if you're watching this, probably. But, you know, for the money this is where my money would be at guys i would choose this over the br540 just for the price value and honestly for the smell it's very very good very very lovely so that's going to do it for this video guys be sure to leave a comment down below i'm going to catch you in the comment section i'm also going to catch you on the next video and remember if you love it wear it